sometimes you never see it coming. You're in the middle of talking, you're having a bad day, or you're anxious and someone says a few words that slap you across the face. Your blood begins to boil, your heart rate increases or you realize you're being severely misunderstood. We're all bothered by different statements and words more than others. In general, everyone hates hearing a calm down, relax, or you're being too sensitive. When I spoke with members of each personality type, across the board everyone hated those statements. Nobody wants to feel like they are being irrational, regardless of their thinking or feeling preference. But what especially triggers the deep thinking, analytical INTPs? Let's take a look. If this your first time here, and want to see more of our videos in the future, please consider subscribing to our channel. With that being said, here are 10 things you should never say to an INTP. That's just the way it is. If an INTP is questioning something or skeptical about a decision or rule they won't rest until they've determined whether that rule or decision is rational. INTPs are natural skeptics, innovators and are rarely happy with accepting anything as a just the way it is. Because I said so. INTPs don't have an innate respect for authority. Respect must be earned, not automatically given based on rank or position. Telling an INTP, because I said so, is a sure way to invite dissent and bitterness. Why aren't you talking? Unless INTPs are engaged in a stimulating theoretical conversation, they are rarely chatterboxes. They are analytical and keep many of their judgments and thoughts internalized. Being criticized or pestered into talking is a sure way to make them feel uncomfortable or irritated. Have you heard about a random celebrity? Celebrity gossip holds little to no interest for INTPs. People who spread rumors and share the details of other people's lives tend to invite distrust from the INTP. They may be wary of forming relationships or friendships with these people. Yes or no, you don't need to explain. INTPs aren't quick to express yes or no judgments. They share their perceptions through extrovert intuition and NE, but keep their judgments internalized. Telling them to oversimplify or leave out pertinent information is asking them to repress a natural part of their personality. It's also just plain rude. Hurry up and decide. INTPs despise being rushed into anything. They like to have time to explore their options and analyze situations fully. Being rushed into a decision, especially a long-term decision, can cause them a great deal of stress. Hey, I know you're reading, but... If you see an INTP reading, it's best to be as quiet as possible and leave them to their book. Interrupting them for any reason, even if it's a friendly question about said book, will frustrate them. Why didn't you notice my haircut? INTPs aren't especially concerned with superficial details in their environment. They are more likely to be thinking about bigger picture issues than whether or not someone got a haircut, lost weight, is wearing a new outfit. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. INTPs enjoy having harmonious environments, but they don't enjoy discussing their feelings unless they are really close to someone and instigate the conversation themselves. Being forced to talk about their feelings makes the INTP rely on their inferior extrovert feeling function, which in turn can cause stress and discomfort. Get out of your head. Asking any introvert to get out of their head is tantamount to asking a fish to breathe air. The nature of introversion is that you prefer the world in your head to the outer world. What are your thoughts? Any statements you'd like to add? Share your thoughts with other viewers in the comments 